gonna try to pop in every day until I want to stop. <laughs> so anyway, we're just gonna kind of do these vlog style so I can answer some questions and catch you up on what has been going on with us. She is working on some workbooks stuff. So today, I think the question that I'm going to um, answer is how they complete their worksheets on the iPad. I get this question quite a lot, and I meant to do this a little bit earlier, but just life has been crazy lately. I've been trying to meet a lot of deadlines and get a lot of stuff done, so I haven't gotten around to it. Sorry about that. But today, I'm going to show you how they complete their worksheets on their iPad. Crosswalk, oversight. <laughs> we also bought her dollhouse out here to keep her occupied in between her and lessons. Down, so she won't so she won't go. I'm down the bed top. I put this up you guys over here and I actually stocked it with some supplies. This is supposed to be keeping track of their reading. Um we don't always do it right when we finish it, so like right now we have to catch up. For this week and insert the marks for the amount of books that they have read this week I started hanging a few of their um, paintings here and then I moved our little um, basket into this area here and then I took this out I have three of these um, camp what's it called easels small easels so it ended up working out perfectly because I just take the book that we're using when they do their painting or any copy work or things like that and I'm able to just kind of put them up here and display so that's pretty cool I've got some work to check and then I will show you how we um, complete our worksheet on the iPad I forgot what I was going to show you light tight light Tight. <laughs> My flight leaves tonight. Okay, so we got through a little bit of our language arts lesson and we are now going to talk about how they fill out their worksheets um, on their iPad. It's pretty straightforward and simple. So I just have my iPad out and I've got lots of iPad pens that we use when we're filling out our worksheets on our iPad. So yeah. Um, you basically just need two apps, I believe that's all you need, and that is um, my Dropbox account. So I have the Dropbox app, and then this Notability app right here. And using those two apps, we this is basically how we fill out our worksheets. First of all, I start with my Dropbox, and that's just pretty basic. Um, any worksheet or um, PDF file that I want us to be able to fill out on our iPad, I load to my Dropbox account. So I just have a separate Dropbox account for um, homeschool and that is the one that I use to um, fill out worksheets. So once I had this Notability app, I think the Notability app is about 9 or $10, something like that, but it's well worth it for me. Um, you just open up your Notability app and inside of your app uh, you have when you go inside of your account, you can just go ahead up here to download a PDF from outside. And so that's what I do. Right here, I'll just go here, click that button to import. I guess it's import, not download, but <laughs> it's basically the same. So you can click that button to import, and then you can see these are the options that you have, and I use my Dropbox account. And then the Dropbox account that I have connected to my Notability app will be shown here. And, and then all of the items that I am able to put into Notability are here. Once it shows up, I have the option to rename it, which is normally what I do so that the kids can recognize it. When I give them instructions on how to fill them out, they can easily recognize them because I have renamed them. But this one right here is just my daily math warm-ups with no regrouping. When I go here, 
it opens up right here and then they're able to fill out the worksheets. It has all these really cool functions. This one is the hand function that lets you scroll up and down. So all of the pages are listed there. Um, if I want to be able to access a page that's a little bit further down and the kids know how to use this, I just go over here to this button that shows the pages and it will list all of the pages there that are available. They're able to go and select the page that I want them to complete. Then I can select that again to make it go away. So if I'm having them fill out page one, um, as long as the hand tool is selected, they're able to scroll up and scroll down. There are five options up at the top. Um, the first one, I'll just kind of walk you through each one and how they work. They're kind of simple um, once you go through them and see what they all do, but um, this is basically how it goes. So this is the text option here, and if you select the text option, oh, I already had one here. Well, let me just delete this so I can show you. And if you select the text option, and then you go over to type in, say he wanted to type his name. He could just type in his name there and then there's a little toggle at the top here that he could take and move it over to this area where his name is. And then there it is. His name is typed in up at the top. And if he made a mistake for some reason and didn't want to do it that way, then he can go ahead and select it again and hit the option to delete it here. And then you could delete the text. So that is how the text works basically. Then the next option is the pencil tool. This is what they use to complete the worksheets the majority of the time. Um, if you tap again on the pencil tool, then you can change the thickness um, or the width of the actual line that the pencil um, makes. Normally my older son uses the smaller pencil there and um, then you can also change the colors that they write in and I just let them write in whatever color they want to except for red because I use red when I am um, correcting their work. So this is just the smaller one and he could write in his name here. He could write in and this is really sloppy because I'm kind of writing from the side, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, he could write like that. That is a smaller option. And whenever you are making any type of marks, you can always push the back button to undo. And it will undo each mark one at a time. Or you could go and select the fourth option here, which is the eraser and you can erase all around it which is really really cool because you can't erase the wrong thing by accident so you can erase all around it and there you go voila <laughs> it's erased so if we go back to the pencil tool i can choose to make a thicker mark as well and i could write really big if i wanted to obviously that's not going to be a good option but it's possible and it depends on what type of worksheet you're filling out so yeah it works um i can go ahead and erase that again like that um another cool thing that i didn't even realize you could do until my boys actually showed me was if you are i'll just use a different color this time just for fun and i'll use a slightly smaller size just for fun and i will put in savannah's name Instead of going the back button or erasing the whole thing, if you select the eraser tool and just tap on the mark, it will just go away. So that's really cool and a quicker option. And that is the eraser tool. So then I'm going to go back a little bit and go to the um, highlighter tool. Um, obviously this is not going to really completely apply to this particular um, worksheet, but you'll get the drift. And the same thing, if you tap on it again, you can um, select the thickness of your highlight, highlighted, of your highlighted area, and you can also select the color. So say we selected green, and say I want them to highlight this. Oftentimes I let them highlight the areas that they have completed a lot of times because they just have a lot of fun making marks in general. So uh, we do use the highlighter tool quite often. So you can just do that. And if you made a mistake, like I said before, you can go to the eraser tool and tap on it and it will go right away. Another really cool tool is this uh, scissor. 
when you select the scissor tool this is going to be kind of harder for me to show you this way so i'm going to back out a little bit to show you something a little different i'm on a separate page now and this is just um, a little plant that i drew using the pencil mark and the highlighter tool so i just drew this little cactus here the really cool thing is if you look at that scissor up at the top here you can select the scissor tool and once you have drawn something and say you wanted say you wanted to duplicate it for some reason um, you can go ahead and circle or select oh i don't want that tool so i'm just going to go back for a second and i'm going to change the tool i don't think you can see so I'm just gonna go up here and I'm gonna change the tool because I didn't want the rectangle tool, I wanted this one here. So I'm just gonna select that. And once I select that, I'll go back to the cactus so you can see. I can go here and just circle around it. And once I do that, then I could just tap on it and I can pick it up and move it. <laughs> I can move it anywhere I want to. If I want to move it to a different spot, it's pretty cool. So I could put it down there and then I also, I can choose to copy it. And if I copy it, I can go and select another spot here and I can put paste image and it will paste it again for me. So I thought this was really cool. And when I showed the kids, they were super excited. So um, that's a really cool tool. And I can kind of maybe show you um, how they've used it so far and that's how we use the scissor and oftentimes we use this scissor tool for let me back it up a little bit for you know how on worksheets they have certain sections that'll say um, cut out and paste here and I get it I know it's supposed to be for the motor skills and everything but um, if we do come across a page in the worksheet that's like that that I don't want to do in that way we can still complete them on here because you just use the scissor tool and you cut out the area that's selected and just paste it right on the area that it's supposed to be so it's pretty cool then the last one is just the hand tool and the hand tool just allows you to move it up and down up and down which is really cool really really cool this one here we don't use quite often but you can record like voice memos and attach them to the note we haven't used that just yet so this is basically how you get this done I'm gonna back out here so I can show you one example of something that they did if I go to let's see we're doing the level of course here and I'll go all the way back up here um, this is how we complete our worksheets. Um, we're using, for language arts, we're using the good and the beautiful, which I still have to talk to you guys about um, some of the changes that we made. But this is what I'm showing you right now, and I'm just gonna go to, these are some of the highlighted areas that let me know that they have completed that part of the um, worksheets. This one here is really, really cool. Um, this is just a sample of what he did when he was completing his worksheets for the day for lesson number eight last week. And they are just supposed to fill out the stories uh, and the main characters, the details about the setting, and the ideas for the plot. So he was able to do this just as he would have if he was doing it in paper form. And so I thought that was really, really cool. So he was able to do that. And I just thought it was so cute, it's so cute. So we fill them out just as if. Here's another example of what I was trying to say earlier. Let me see if I can zoom in. When I was talking about cutting out certain sections, this one he was supposed to put them in order. And so he was able to cut them out from down here and then paste them in the right places in these in these sections here that's pretty much notability in a nutshell um, I have to go through and add a lot more of their worksheets to their list and rename them and things like that but this is basically how we do it up at the top right hand corner and once you are there you hit this spot and you're able to select your Dropbox from there and once you go into your Dropbox, you can upload anything that you have saved to your Dropbox and save it to your notes inside of Notability. 
So that's basically how it works. This is how they fill out their worksheets on their iPad and we love it like this. Sometimes we do do the worksheets um, in physical format, but most of the time we don't because I'm trying to be a little bit nicer to the G's and this just works really well for us because I have to I don't have to be concerned with printing things out. It's just really, really helpful. So I love it. And again, the two apps that you need for that are Dropbox and Notability. And you just need, I don't even think you need the Dropbox box app. I think you just need to be able to um, link your Notability account to your Dropbox account. And then you'll be able to load them. So that is how we do that. And I hope that's helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions and I'll try my best to answer them. It's pretty straightforward and simple not too fancy and hopefully that helps so i will see you guys in our next video